Good morning. Today's topic is electrode potential. So what is an electrode potential? When an electrode is kept in contact with the solution of its ions, the metal tends to lose electrons. Okay, And this passes into the solution in the form of metal ions. Thus, an electrical difference is set up between the metal and its solution. This potential difference is known as half cell electrode potential or electrode potential. Okay, so when an electrode is kept in contact with the solution. of its ions okay of its ions what happens the metal tends to lose ions okay lose electrons the metal tends to lose electrons and this pass into the solution and this pass into the solution in the form of metal ions. Okay. Thus, as a result of this, a potential difference is set up between metal and its solution. Okay. Thus, an electrical potential difference. is set up between the solution and its ions and its ions this potential difference is known as half cell electrode potential okay this is known as half cell electrode potential Half cell electrode potential. Okay. So or also we can say it is the measure of the tendency of an electrode in a half cell to loss or gain electrons. Either loss or gain electrons are taking place. Okay. It can also we can also explain it is the measure of the tendency. Of an electrode in a half cell, okay, to loss or gain electrons, okay. So, if the loss of electrons are taking place, such electrode potentials are called as oxidation potential, and if the gain of electrons due to the gain of electrons. Uh, the uh, reaction is taking place the, in the half cell. If the gain of electrons is taking place, the electrode potential obtained is called as reduction potential. So, oxidation potential and reduction potential. Oxidation potential and reduction potential in oxidation potential what happens tendency to loss electrons okay loss electrons tendency to loss electron and reduction potential is obtained due to it is a tendency to gain electrons okay now so, in a Daniel cell, we already discussed, loss of electrons are taking place in anode and gain of electrons in cathode. Example, oxidation potential obtained in zinc metal. Zinc. Obtain Zn2 plus and 2 electrons. 
okay this z in 2 plus moves into the solution okay so oxidation potential the potential obtained due to the loss of electrons okay so oxidation potential is oxidation potential of zinc okay now in the case of reduction potential example copper it accepts electrons gain electrons and produce copper okay so this is called as reduction potential okay so this much about electron potential okay next electromotive force or emf or cell potential electromotive force emf or cell potential so what is emf we know in a electrochemical cell there are two electrodes and potential difference are developed in two half cells and the difference between the electrode potential of these two electrodes constituting the electrochemical cell is called as emf okay the difference between the difference between the electrode potential difference between the electrode potential of two electrodes constituting the electrochemical cell is called as emf or electromotive force okay now emf e0 of cell will be equal to the standard reduction potential of rh electro rhs electrode rhs there will be in a daniel cell rhs there will be cathode and lhs there will be anode so the electrode potential of rhs minus electrode potential of uh, lhs okay electrode potential standard electrode potential of cathode cathode is in the right hand side minus standard electrode potential of anode okay or we can write standard electrode potential of right minus standard electrode potential of left or E0 of cathode, standard electrode potential of cathode minus standard electrode potential of anode. Okay. Next, standard electrode potential. Standard electrode potential. What is standard electrode potential? Standard electrode potential when a metal is placed in one molar solution of its ion at 225 degrees Celsius that is a standard condition the potential difference obtained for a half cell is called as uh, a standard electrode potential. So when a metal is placed in one molar solution of its ion at 25 degrees Celsius a potential difference is developed this potential difference is known as standard electron potential okay so next next point the absolute value of potential difference
of a half cell cannot be determined experimentally. Half cell cannot be determined experimentally. So what we have to do? So in order to obtain the potential difference, the electrode potentials are determined with respect to a standard electrode potential. Uh, standard electrode, uh, standard hydrogen electrode, which is having a standard electrode potential. So by connecting this half cell with a standard hydrogen electrode, standard hydrogen electrode. By connecting with a standard hydrogen electrode, the potential difference of a particular half cell electrode can be determined. Okay, so in this case, the uh, electrode potential of the standard hydrogen electrode is taken as zero. Now, let us discuss standard hydrogen electrode or SHE. Okay, standard hydrogen electrode. This is the uh, hydrogen electron. It consists of a platinum wire sealed in a glass tube. Okay, platinum wire sealed in a glass tube and platinum foil attached to it. Okay, this is the platinum foil, bla platinum black electron. Okay, this is the platinum black electron that is uh, a platinum wire sealed in a glass tube with a platinum foil at one end. Now, the foil is coated with finely divided platinum. Okay, this platinum sheet is coated with finely divided platinum. Okay, this acts as the platinum electrode. So, platinum electrode, it contains a platinum electrode. Okay, now, it is dipped in an acid solution, dipped into an acid solution containing H plus ions in one molar concentration. Okay, containing H plus ions in one molar concentration. So, it is dipped into a solution, one molar HCl. Okay, it's, it is dipped it in, a, in a solution of one molar HCl. Now, this is an example of gas electron because... H2 gas at one atmospheric pressure, pure H2 gas at one atmospheric pressure is constantly bubbled into the solution. It is bubbled into the solution. Okay. It's a gas electron. H2 gas at one atmosphere and one atmospheric pressure is bubbled into the tube. Okay. And the whole uh, the temperature is kept at 298 Kelvin at standard condition. Okay, temperature is 298 Kelvin. So, the different reactions are taking place. Okay, depending upon whether it acts as anode or cathode. Okay, so standard hydrogen electrode is the reference electrode. So, it may be placed either in anode or cathode to find the electrode potential of the other half cell. Okay, so depending upon this, uh, the different reactions are taking place. If it acts as the standard hydrogen electrode acts as anode, if it acts as anode, okay, the reaction will be like this H2 gas gives to H plus. It loses electrons because it acts as anode. Okay, if it acts as cathode, what happens? H plus this acids electrons and form H2 gas. Okay. So, depending upon whether it is placed as anode or cathode, different reactions are taking place. Okay. So, it is also regarded as the reversible uh, electrode because both uh, the reactions are taking place. Okay. So, it is a reversible electrode. Reversible electrode. Okay. say reversible electron 
Now, the electrode potential of an electrode, how can we determine using this? It is obtained by connecting the half cell with a standard hydrogen electrode. The one which we have to find the electrode potential is connected to a standard hydrogen electrode. This is standard hydrogen electrode and the electrode potential of the standard hydrogen electrode is taken as zero. Electrode potential is zero. Potential is zero. Taken as zero. So it's also called as reference electrode. Now the electrode potential of the metal electrode is determined with respect to this. So it is called as standard electrode. Uh, so the, uh, the, the electric this uh, the electrode potential thus obtained will be the standard electrode potential of that half cell. Okay. Now let us explain once more at 298 Kelvin. Okay. The temperature is standard condition. The EMF of the cell. How can we find EMF of the cell? Okay. So standard hydrogen electrode is taken as anode. Okay. Now the second half cell is taken at the cathode. Okay. So it's SHE is at the anode and the other half cell, the one which you have to find the standard electrode potential is taken as cathode. Okay. So, this is the reference, uh, reference in half cell electrode. Okay. Now, the reduction potential of the other half cell, how can we determine? The reduction potential will be equal to reduction potential of right minus reduction potential of left. Okay. So, left will be 0. So, this is equal to reduction potential of right minus reduction potential of left is 0. SHE is 0. Taken as 0. Now, this will be the electrode potential of the half cell. Like this, we can determine the electrode potential of a particular half cell. Let us take an example. If we are taking zinc electrode, so, how can we write? Here, anode. Okay. This standard hydrogen electron is at the anode. So, H2 gas at 1 bar pressure. Okay. This is the standard hydrogen electron. Now, Zinc. Zn2 plus. Okay. This. Like this. So, like this, we can calculate the reduction potential of zinc. Reduction potential of zinc. Obtain this minus 0.76 volt. Okay. Like this, we can also find the copper. Similarly, copper. One bar pressure. The solution is one molar solution. This is a standard hydrogen electrode. Okay. Now copper. Copper is taken at the cathode and standard hydrogen electrode at the anode. The reduction potential of copper obtained is Point three four volt. Okay, like this we can obtain the standard electrode potentials. Okay, from this we obtained the for zinc it is minus value and for copper it is positive value. This means the positive value shows copper ions gets reduced more easily than H plus ions. Copper ions reduced more easily. 
okay now next negative shows hydrogen ions can oxidize zinc or we can say zinc can reduce zinc can reduce hydrogen ions okay like this these are the difference between the minus value and positive value and depending upon the standard uh, standard potential standard electrode potential an electrochemical series is obtained the the different values are obtained and the standard electrode potential uh, the standard hydrogen electrode potential is taken as zero that is hydrogen ion is taken as zero and different potential reduction potential are obtained and arranged in the order okay so uh, now in the case of daniel cell what will be the case so in a daniel cell the standard the potential difference the potential emf of the cell will be or e0 of the cell will be equal to e0 of right minus e0 of left okay e0 of right it is copper so it is 0.34 minus left is zinc 0.76 so this will be equal to 1.10 volt this will be the voltage of a daniels or emf of a daniels cell okay